Hello and welcome to the circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia for the final round of the 2014 International GT Open. We've had a fantastic season so far and this final event of the year promises to be truly thrilling because the top three cars, Miguel Ramos, Nicky Pastrelli and the V8 Racing Corvette, the SMP Russian Bears Ferrari, the Roman Mavlanov and Daniel Zampieri and the reigning champion for Lorba Course Ferrari, Andrea Montermini and Nicolo Shiro are all separated by just four points. So there is everything to race for. But before we get into this week's action, let's take a look back at what happened in Monza at the end of September. The fifth round of the GT Open was held at Silverstone in July, and it was the TF Sport Aston Martin of Darren Turner and Jody Fannin making their series debut, who were the dominant cars early on. Meanwhile, disappointment for the law because Ferrari tagged into a spin after over optimism on the part of Roman Mavlanov. It was a frantic race as the Corvettes and Ferraris went wheel to wheel around the high speed Silverstone Grand Prix circuit layout. Montermini recovering from his spin uncharacteristically tagged Joel Comathius into a rotation. Fortunately, both of them recovered as Turner and Fannin came through to take an emphatic victory. Matthias and Bretta recovering to win the GTS class. On to race two and a big talking point for the championship. Nicky Pastrelli nerfed into the gravel trap at turn one. No points for he or Miguel Ramos. Alvaro Barba was another early retiree. That was the pass for second position. So Termini spun away points late on. It was a win. Meanwhile, for Mavlanov and Daniel Zampieri, second place for Turner and Fanin, third to Hamilton and to Tumlu. Next stop after the summer break, Spa Francorchamps. Circuit that always provides plenty of entertainment. Early on, frenetic fighting amongst the Ferraris. A little bit too close for comfort on the occasion. Carlo Ruberti tagged into a quick spin from Richard Lyons. This the talking point though. Big instance of Rouge fries at Tumlu. Well timed safety car, Miguel Ramos and Nicky Pastrelli giving the pair of them the win. And the Thoris and Richard Lyons were second and third for Matt Griffin and Duncan Cameron. On to race two, and unfortunately, the sequence of win or retire continues for Alison Pastorelli. Gearbox far putting them out early on. It's a golden opportunity then for the Velour of course Ferrari, Montermini and Shiro, and the SMP Russian Bears Ferrari of Mamlano and Zampieri. Meanwhile, Matt Griffin and Jose Perez Icar having a super scrap. However, it was a fine victory for the SRT Corvette advisor to Tumlu and Archie Hamilton, Griffin and Cameron winning in GTS. The penultimate event of the year was the Cathedral of Speed and Monza. It was felt that it would be Corvette territory and if you're racing in Italy, Ferrari should never be ruled out. Once more disaster for the V8 racing Corvette squad. They go around with Nicky Pastorelli sidelined early on with wheel issues. That left Maxime Soule to lead the Corvette charge. He hands over to Kelvin Snooks, who was leading in the second half of the race. It's Manuele Romani. Which he was out of proceedings with that impact into the tyre wall of the Ascari. Battle then became an epic chase as Roman Mavlanov, under sustained pressure from the SRT Corvette, was able to withstand the attempts of the Corvette to get through, but at the same time overhauled Kelvin Snooks late on. Shortly afterwards, the Tutumlu and Hamilton party cart did exactly the same thing to snap second and then third went to Niccolo Shiro and Andrea Montermini at the final turn. A victory from Avlanov and Zampieri putting them right up to the fore in the championship fight. GTS honours went the way for Ruberti and Roda. On to race two and it needed to be a good one for Amos and Pastorelli after those two retirements in succession. Nothing less than a win would do. Disaster early on as the front bonnet detached itself Unfortunately, no detrimental effect on performance for Alison Pastrelli. They continued. Behind, there was some super racing spearheaded by Roman Vlanov and Richard Lyons. Lorba Course Ferrari had a somewhat muted day. Niccolo Shiro showed strongly early on an uncharacteristic mechanical failure meant that the car failed to see the chequered flag. Instead, it was all about the Chevrolets, the Corvettes, and also the Reiter Engineering Camaro hands of Thomas Enger which was absolutely flying early on. There's more Hamilton to Tumlu in the thick of the action trying to withstand the charging Perez Icar. It was victory though for Ramos and Pastrelli bringing them into the title fight alongside Montermini and Shiro. 
take a lap then of the circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia in the SRT Corvette sprinting along the start and finish straight and then downhill into the braking zone for turn one a quick sequence of corners to the right then the left swing to the right and then pick up to the left hand side ride the kerb before heading uphill towards turn three high speed never ending corner which then opens out into the run towards turn four potential overtaking opportunity here if you can find the space to the inside otherwise move across claim a nice early apex hug the inside of the road we're immediately thinking about the left hander at turn five the road falling away all the while another heavy braking zone we continue to drop downhill sweeping through turn six little left hand kink and then you've got on the brakes into turn seven almost immediately on the throttle uphill into turn eight and then setting up for one of the most spectacular corners the circuit very very quick right hander at turn nine just clip the curb and then accelerate on towards turn ten one of the best overtaking spots at the circuit to barcelona catalonia on the brakes and just swing it into the left deceptively tight entry and then again through turn eleven towards the looping turn 12 you can't overtake here but we can do set up for the move maybe into turn 13 which is almost a blind entry the road falling away avoid the sausage curb and then jink through the flip-flop chicane again potential overtaking spot for the very fast final turn exit speed is everything as that brings you on to the main straight and that completes a lap of the circuit race of the season for the circuits Catalonia and a three-way title battle that really became a two-way title fight at the third turn contact from Miguel Ramos damaging the front of the Corvette and leaving he and Nicky Pastrelli with an awful lot to do from the rear of the field that meant it was the two Ferrari combinations the SMP Russian Bex car from Avlanov and Zampieri Lord of course Ferrari Sharon Montermini who were in prime position for the championship also the GTS title was to be decided as well favour of Giorgio Roda over the course of the afternoon so the Corvette struggling the Ferraris were trying to make hay whilst the sun shone post pit stops and Nicolo Shiro was in inspired form in the Velorba course Ferrari as he and Andrea Montermini were seeking their second victory of the season in a long time since they were last on the top step of the rostrum at a ref with Shiro flying so was Oh, Mavlanov trying to ease his way through in the late stages, eventually forcing the move to the inside. And a little bit wide, but it wasn't too long before he was able to overhaul the Corvette. Second place for Mavlanov and Zampieri meant that with Montermini and Shiro taking the checker flag, there was just a point between those two combinations heading into the final race of the season. However, it was time to celebrate the Vlorba course team, Andrea Montermini and Nicolo Shiro. Montermini looking to become double champion. Back-to-back -back building his 2013 success. In the GTS class, it was Phil Keane and Sean Balfe who claimed the honours. The biggest job is starting now, because tomorrow is going to be a nightmare, but... Uh, at least uh, for everybody would be like that and uh, we did a fantastic uh, job uh, the team works incredibly well from fr from Thursday until today and we still have the work to do but they did very very well I have um, uh, a very good message uh, uh, on top of this on top of every winning uh, Forza Niki it was uh, especially my outlap uh, I knew it. I had to, to be on the front uh, when Mavlanov uh, finished the, the pit stop. Then the race was uh, not so hard, just only to overtake uh, Sitov. It's been uh, not so easy, but then uh, I, had, uh, I just had to manage uh, the tyre and uh, close the, the race. down to the 
final race of the season to decide the outcome of the title. But really, the key moment came through Turn 1 as Jose Perez Icart ran wide. Nicolo Shiro took evasive action and gained a little bit too much of an advantage, regaining the circuit. And that earned him a drive-through penalty, which really pitched the law of course Ferrari out of contention. Behind, there was some fantastic dicing to enjoy throughout the field. One or two drivers were just overstepping the mark ever so slightly. The end of term atmosphere. It's our team Corvette, one of several cars, to take a trip across the Turn 1 escape route. Team Patel also a little bit crossed up as he slid wide. That promoted the TDS BMW, Eric Dermont. Patel, though, was soon able to recover and reclaim the place. Mid-race driver changes, and Mavlana was in early to hand over to Zampieri. SMP pairing, if they just kept it consistent through the second half of the race, would probably do enough to claim the crown. In the meantime, Ando Monnier was flying in the other Nova driver, Audi, then into the pit lane, post drive through penalty, Nicolo Shiro. Andrea Montermini needed a miracle performance, but it didn't come. Trying to force the issue on Archie Hamilton, he tagged the Corvette driver into a spin and earned the Valorba car second drive through. Thereafter, Montermini tried all he could to gain the places, but there was just a little bit too much to be done. Out front, the victory went the way of Jose Perez Icart and Vatislav Maliev. Delight the SP Russian Bears Ferrari team on their day of days. So, as Maliev and Icart took the victory, it was eyes towards third place. So, across the line in third place for Roman Vlanov and Daniel Zampieri, they were the very deserving champions in the 2014 International GT Open. Delight the SMP Russian Bears Ferrari team, the race victory and the title in the final round. It had been a brilliant season of racing. the day to be happy because we won and at the end we did a great job no mistake until the last part on the last part of the race we slow down some because the race was already finished but thanks to the teams we don't need no mistakes so it's a great day it's not possible to say what i feel it's amazing really because we we work hard all season i want to say thank you for everybody for my team for people who was with me every every time for my teammates daniel you know, we did a great job today and during the whole season we do it and today we just, we just do what we what uh, we start of the start of the season. We did it and we won. I'm so happy. Yeah? <laughs> what a year of racing it has been in the International GT Open. Could you have imagined a more dramatic championship finale? Nonetheless, Roman Vlanov, Daniel Zampieri and the SMP Russian Bears team, very deserving champions. Well, that's it for this season. Thank you for your company. We look forward to seeing you when the 2015 campaign kicks off next year.